Hello everyone, it's Friday. That means time for Friday sews, a sewing chat where anything goes. In today's video, I have a pattern haul for you. And I also have an update on a project I was working on and plans for the upcoming week. I'm Sharon and welcome to my channel, a channel all about sewing. Now on social media, you probably already heard that Hobby Lobby was having a 99 cent pattern sale on simplicity patterns and quick sew patterns. No, I don't need any more patterns. I don't need any more patterns. I don't need any more patterns. So what did I do? I went to Hobby Lobby and I purchased a couple more patterns. They were only a dollar each. And I know that living in the United States and living close to Hobby Lobby, I'm very fortunate to be able to access that sale. What did I purchase? Well, let me tell you. <laughs> Simplicity 8609, and this is a skirt in a cropped t-shirt pattern. I purchased it really for that little t-shirt. I liked the little cross in the front. Yes, I could probably hack a pattern to figure this out myself, but for 99 cents, I'm just going to purchase it, and they have already done the work for me. I will have to make it longer because I certainly don't want this I certainly don't want that section of my body hanging out, not at my age. It's, it's no longer firm and trim like it used to be, but I can make it a little bit longer and still get the idea of a cropped top. Simplicity 8657. This was the pattern that Jen had sewn when we were going to do our collaboration. I really dropped the ball on that one. And then I didn't feel too bad when she had finished this one and said, I don't like it. I'm giving it away. But I like the pattern, not necessarily for the captain, but for the top and the hacking ability that this pattern has. I actually saw something online and it was two colors. I want to say it was yellow and gray and it was kind of this shape with long dolman sleeves, and that would be really easy to sew the look using this pattern. Then I purchased 9108. This is just a very simple pullover. It looks like it would be a loose fitting top. I will find out once I pull the pattern out. And that scarf, that scarf shown on the model, that's actually detachable. I've been seeing that look on some of the designer sites, and I don't know if I would wear it or not, we will see. 8640 is a very simple pullover dress with a really cool hem and I do like something that is just a little bit different. I think Jen had this one also. Jen, if you're watching this, leave a comment below and let me know. I'm pretty sure somebody else also suggested that I sew this one and I am so sorry that I can't remember your name at the moment. And thank you for the suggestion because this is one of the patterns I look for because of your suggestion. 9102. Now ignore this. I, I don't find that attractive at all. But look at the line drawings on here. What I'm going to do, I like the short sleeved. It, it's almost like a shirt on the top. And then I'm going to hack it so it has multi-tiers. I just like to look at the multi-tiers. I think it's very comfortable. I think it's flattering. And it's a little bit romantic in my opinion. Oh, quick sew. Quick sew patterns were also 99 cents. I picked this one up. This was probably a little bit of an impulse buy. When we walk the dog or when I go for a walk in the neighborhood, there's so many times that I tell my husband, I really need something on my arm that I could put my phone in. Uh, here we go. I can make it. I probably didn't need a pattern to do it, but I bought the pattern for 99 cents. Here we go. So now I will have something that I can put my phone in while I go walking. And the last quick sew pattern I purchased is for this pullover dress in the color blocking. I had a style arc pattern very similar to this and I cannot locate it. I'm guessing it's one of them that didn't make it in the move. So I do like it in a, I really like it in the different color. I'm sure this isn't denim. I think denim would be too heavy for this, so it must be chambray. So I'll keep my eye out for fabrics that coordinate together so I can make myself a new summer dress. So I ended up purchasing seven new patterns, so $7 plus tax. So I guess that's not that bad of an investment. Hey, did you notice anything? I'm sitting down. I always stand when I do the videos. I feel like I have more energy when I'm standing. And I think it's just from years ago, I used to be an inside sales rep. I was on the phone all the time with my little headpiece and I would pace, I would pace. It was just so hard to just sit still at a desk. Can any of y'all relate? So I'm sitting down. 
if you watched my sewing room tour video, you might remember that I had my sewing machines against this wall. I hated it. I hated looking at the wall while I was sewing. First of all, my husband would come in through the door, which was behind my back, and scare me, which he found highly amusing. <laughs> <laughs> Which I guess when I think about it, it is kind of fun because I scare pretty easily. And I missed being able to look out the window while I was sewing. So I took that whole big unit with my sewing machine and the serger and I moved it to the wall. I now can look outside and see sunshine and the dogs and the squirrels and the birds. And that frees up my wall. So I put this little bench in here. It trying really hard to not just let it gather things because I don't know about you, but it's really easy when I work in a project to just plop it down somewhere. The other advantage is I now have some place to sit when I tape a video. And also, did you notice I'm dressed very warmly? After months of listening to me talk about, oh, it's so warm here, blah, 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 blah. We are headed for a super cold spell. I feel like we're back in Minnesota. Everyone that is from the area keeps saying, we've never had this before. So we don't tell them we're from Minnesota because we don't want to get blamed for bringing this bitter cold weather along with us. We don't know what's going to happen. Today is Friday and by Sunday, the storm may hit and we have heard that we could potentially get six to eight inches of snow. While being a native Minnesotan, I know how to handle six to eight inches of snow. <laughs> we realized we did not move any shovel with us when we came down here and they're all sold out. Oh well. Fortunately, I still have my down coat. I still have my long underwear. I have my sorrel boots, all my cold weather gear, and I can walk around in the snow. We just won't be able to shovel ourselves out. It's going to be interesting. I will re I will give you a report next Friday so's video and let you know what happened. So that's why I'm all bundled up because it's actually kind of chilly here. By chilly, I mean it's hovering about 30 degrees. Hmm. So I guess in the future, I just need to zip my mouth when I feel like saying it is so hot here. I'm just going to remember this little cold snap that we're experiencing right now. Last video, I had this shirt on my dress form and somebody asked what pattern that was and I had forgotten to share. It is McCall 7803. This is one of my whips, WIP. It was tucked away in my closet. I pulled it out. All I need to do is add the facing and hem it and I could wear it. This I had actually sewn because I was testing the fit. I wasn't sure that I liked the fabric and I kind of do. So I'm gonna finish this one up. Maybe not this week, maybe next week. Right now I have other things that I want to sew. Speaking of sewing plans, next on my agenda is the, the Style Sew Me Madison Cardigan. This is going to be another one of my Black History Month pattern designer pattern entries. And I'm going to use this knit that, re that I received in a bundle from Fabric Mart Fabrics. I would not have purchased this mainly because I think the knit is nice. It feels like it's probably a rayon knit. I wouldn't have purchased it because I don't like snake prints. I like snakes. I don't like snake prints. I know they were super trendy last year, but I didn't purchase any of them. But since it came in the mystery bundle, I'll go ahead and use it. I think it would be really cute sewn in that cardigan with maybe a pair of white pants. We'll see. And then I have two Vogue patterns that I'm kind of eyeing, debating if I want to stitch them up now or later. 1714, this is a Vogue moto jacket with a little peplin. I purchased some faux leather from Super Textiles on Etsy. And I probably should sew this now while the weather is cool. And the other one that I'm intrigued by is Vogue 1700. This is definitely not a top that I typically would wear, but I purchased a shirting from Fabric Mart Fabrics and it's semi sheer and I knew that when I purchased it and I thought since this pattern would require me to wear a cami under it anyway because um yeah that's not gonna happen on me I figured since it needed a cami anyway sewing it out of a semi sheer fabric would work so I just need to debate which one do you think I should start working on leave it in the comments below style sew me pattern that I just finished sewing is the Erin dress I believe I mentioned this in my last video 
and I'm going to have an entire review video up next Tuesday for you because when I have this many notes, whoops, when I have this many notes that I write down on a pattern, things that I did differently, things that I want to do differently next time, the review video is as much for me as it is for you. So watch for that next Tuesday. How many of you get a So News Magazine subscription? Right before we moved, I quit my subscription with So News Magazine and I recently renewed it. And this is, I think, the third magazine that I've gotten. And imagine my surprise when I opened it up and on the community make, there I am for the Banff sweatshirt that I made from, it was their Studio Capsule Plush. I think that's the name of it. I'll put that name up there. I did an entire review video of that. I'll put that review video link up there and in the description if you haven't seen that yet. I had completely forgotten that Amanda, the editor from this magazine, had reached out to me on Instagram a couple months ago asking if I would send her two photos of this Dolman sleeve top. And I did, and there I am. So that was kind of fun. Now I have to do a shameless plug. Did y'all see my little heart apron? This is my little tutorial that I published on Thursday. That would have been yesterday, late yesterday. You still have time to whip one up for Valentine's Day or get started and make one now for next year's Valentine's Day. I just think it's sweet. Not only because it's candy heart fabric, it's just, I just, I like ruffles. I like ruffles. And then it has little applique hearts on the pocket. Pockets are large enough that you can tuck things in there. They're useful. I'll link that tutorial above. If nothing else, bookmark it for next year. And you know, you can always sew this in fabric that is not Valentine themed. It's just a really fun little apron. Hi, sweetheart. Come here. Come here. Yes, you can be on camera. We have a visitor today. Yes, we do. She got groomed yesterday, so she smells so good and she looks so pretty. Now, I'm excited to share this one with you. This, well, I'll put some pictures up so you can see what it looks like because it doesn't look so great on the hanger. This is the Cashmere Appleton dress. They reached out to me a few months ago to see if I would be willing to test their new size range. If you haven't heard, they have expanded their size range on the Appleton dress. The Appleton dress was the very first dress that they had released and it's one of their best sellers. The thing that I really like about cashmere patterns is they have the cup sizes. They have the cup size that goes up to a G. I actually had purchased their bathing suit pattern a couple years ago when it was first released. I realized when I got the pattern, while my full bust measurement fit into the size range, the rest of me did not. So I was very excited when they reached out and asked if I would be willing to test the new smaller size range with the full bust option. My dress is a size 10, which works well for me because I actually have a pretty narrow back and a narrow rib cage. Unfortunately, I carry a lot of extra weight in my chest, which kind of hides how small I am elsewhere. So I sewed a size 10 with the G cup option and I love it. Cashmere provided that pattern to me and Hearts Fabric provided this beautiful fabric. I gotta tell you, sometimes as sewists, we get really tempted to purchase fabric that might be a little lower cost, but if you spend a little bit more, the quality, just feeling it, you can tell the quality is amazing and it drapes beautifully. It was so easy to sew. And sewing this pattern, I hadn't sewn one before, it went together so well. It was drafted so well. And they talk about how this doesn't gap on large bested women and it doesn't. I wasn't sure I believed them. It actually fits. Now, I gotta tell you, I received the pattern and I sewed it up in a test fabric first. I wasn't gonna sew this beautiful fabric just in case I had to make any adjustments. Well, I put the dress together out of knit fabric that I had on hand and I hated it. Hated it. H-A-T-E-D. Enough that I reached out to Cashmere and I'm like, I, oh, 
I'm like, I just don't feel like I can continue with this test for you. I don't feel that I can promote this pattern for you. I don't like it. I don't like how it looks on me. I don't like how it feels. I was ready to pull out and pay for the fabric in the pattern that they had sent to me. They did ask that I reconsider. They said, if you, if you want to pull out, if that's definitely what you want to do, that's okay. But we'd really love it if you would continue and reconsider. So I molded over for a couple days and I went back to him and he said, you know what? I, I made a commitment to you. I will follow through on that commitment. I'm so happy I did. Once I sewed it in this fabric, I loved the dress, your fabric. Your fabric can make such a difference. It really does fit in the bust. If you are full or busted like I am, look at their newly released Appleton pattern. I think you'll be really pleased with the fit. Now, when you look at the photos of me wearing it, I am 5'5", five five and I did not make any alterations at all. Zero. I love that when I don't have to do any alterations on a pattern. It's comfortable to wear. I love how it can be dressed up or dressed down. I've always said I'm not a fan of wrap dresses and I think I'm gonna sew another one for the spring or summer. Like this little dog is going to sleep. I don't wanna look down because I'll disturb her and then she might, oh, she's getting so relaxed. I can feel it. What a sweetie pie. Well. It's Friday Sewers. If you enjoyed the video, if you found it entertaining, helpful, or you just want to support my channel, thumbs up. You know I appreciate it. And I really appreciate it if you subscribe. Until next week, happy sewing. I can feel it.